New Zealand's proud cafe culture is back. So stoked. <laughs> Honestly, so, it's so good to have a coffee. Kiwis saw rules loosened on Tuesday after a month under one of the world's harshest lockdowns. That included the closure of almost all businesses and strict quarantine measures for anyone entering the country. The strategy paid off with a low infection rate and a very low death toll. Community transmitted cases have been all but eliminated. The country set ambitious goals for contact tracing in an effort to mirror early successes achieved in South Korea and Taiwan. Yes, we have done that in lockdown. The goal now is to keep up that work. So we're now in the next phase of the battle and we are not done. Australia's had a softer lockdown but has seen a similar fall off in cases. Unlike New Zealand, restaurants were allowed to open for takeout and the iconic Bondi Beach reopened to surfers this week. That was beautiful. Like, uh, it's, it's so good to be back in the water. It's like we've been craving for it for since the beach was closed. In addition to the lockdown measures, both countries benefit from their remote location, which gave them more time to react. If you saw your first case later than other countries, you've got more time to plan and more time to see how other countries responded and what they did right or wrong. In fact, they started their lockdowns down under after Canada. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has been widely praised for her clarity, in contrast to the initial mixed messages in another island nation. I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Not to mention the confusion that reigns after White House briefings. The disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute, and is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside? Any crisis, the key to success is always being clear and decisive and unwavering. And I think that's what... New Zealand showed being consistent and acting fast, summed up by this warning from the WHO back in March. Perfection is the enemy of the good when it comes to emergency management. Speed trumps perfection. However, it could yet be years before we know who really made the best calls. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.